topic of this lesson is proportions, and proportions are actually very closely related to ratios. In fact, proportion is two ratios compared to each other, uh, very similar to the way that a ratio is two values compared to each other. So a proportion might be, um, say, the ratio two-thirds compared to the ratio four-sixths. Now this is um, this is a correct ratio or, or a, a true ratio because we can see that if we were to multiply the two values on the left hand side um, by two, then we'd get the same ratio we have on the right hand side. So this these are equal proportions. Two thirds is uh, the same comparison as four sixths is, or another way to say that is that two is the same amount out of three that four is out of six. Now, when we're dealing with proportions, the most common way to solve for a missing value is using what we call cross-canceling. Uh, let me show you an example of how that works. Probably have seen cross-canceling before. You may or may not have realized uh, that you've actually done the process on your own when you're solving uh, basic equations in algebra. If we know, for instance, that 2 thirds is the same thing as x over 9, and what we're doing is trying to solve for x, well, many people know that you're going to cross-cancel to find it, but the reason we do that is that what we're trying to do is get the numbers out of the denominators. And we do that by multiplying both sides by the number that's in the denominator on one side, so we can cancel it out like so. Then when I've multiplied the left-hand side by 3, I have to multiply the right-hand side by 3 to keep things balanced. And then, once that's done, I end up with 2 just over 1, which I don't have to write, is equal to x times 3 over 9. Well, now I need to get the 9 out of the denominator, so I multiply both sides by 9. And then my 9 cancels over here, and I end up with 9 times 2 on this side. So now I have 18 is equal to x times 3, or 3x. Now you can see if we were to, from this point here, if we were to, instead of just multiplying both sides by 3, go ahead and multiply both sides by 9 at the same time, then when I go ahead and multiply by 9 on this side, this cancels right away, and I multiply by 9 on this side, and when the 3's cancel, I end up just multiplying 9 times 2 over here. That's why the cross-canceling works. If I take my original proportion here, 2 thirds equals x over 9, and realize that if I were to multiply this side by 3, the 3 would just go away. If I multiply this side by 3, I actually have to multiply x by 3. And if I multiply this side by 9, the 9 goes away, and I have to multiply this side by 2. I can just shorten my, my writing and just multiply the denominator of each side by the numerator on the other side. So we get 9 times 2, which gives us 18 on one side, and 3 times x, which gives us 3x on the other side. And it doesn't matter which way you go. If you want to put 3x, do 3 times x and put 3x on the left, and 9 times 2 on the other side, it doesn't matter at all. This statement just means is the same thing as. And if 18 is the same thing as 3x, then 3x is the same thing as 18. That just makes perfect sense, right? Now to finish solving it, of course, we just divide everything by 3, and we end up with x equals 6 in this particular example. Now you'll see if you take a look through your text that there are a number of corollaries or sort of sub-rules that go along with this cross-multiplication trick. And it's probably worth looking through them at least and kind of getting used to seeing the different ways that the cross-multiplication can work out because it'll make it easier for you to uh, identify proportions and how they might have been changed from one situation to another. For instance, and I'm not going to go through all these piece by piece, but if we take just a look at the first one here, corollary 1, it says that if a over b is equal to c over d, then a over c is equal to b over d. What they've done there is switch b and c. And you would do that by just multiplying both sides by b, and then dividing both sides by c, and then multiplying both sides by d, and dividing both sides by a. So you can move these letters around by multiplying both sides by the same letter or dividing both sides by the same letter. And this is just one way that that can be manipulated to change the way your initial proportion ends up looking. So take a look through the corollaries. It's worth sort of identifying the different ways that this can work out, and then we'll see how those apply to our example questions.